Hey guys, Dr. Jackie with Athletes Potential, and I want to talk about a reactive neuromuscular training technique to help those folks who tend to favor one side in the squat. So oftentimes you'll see someone get to the bottom of their squat and they really shift their weight one way or the other. This could be due to a number of different things. It could be motor control, so more of a neuromuscular background. It actually could be just mobility. Maybe one side of their, their hip or their, uh, their uh, ankle, excuse me, is less mobile than the other side. Uh, today we're going to kind of go after the neuromuscular side of it with a banded technique for the RNT technique. Okay, so I'm an athlete, I'm in your gym, or I'm you. I know when I video myself, I'm in the bottom of a squat, I tend to really shift, let's say we're going to shift to my right today, okay? So I go down, I do a squat, and I shift to my right. I come back up. You might not feel it, you might only have coaches telling you about it, but it's very common. So from here, I'm going to take a small orange band, I want to step into it. So the basis of RNT um, tra training that way is to exaggerate the problem. So it's pretty common, you'll see people when they have issues with their knees crashing in, you'll add a band to the outside, which actually causes their knees to crash more, but it kind of gives their brain a wake up call, like, hey, I need to, to get my knees out. So it's exaggerating the problem so that you wake up your neuromuscular system to help you with it, okay? So same thing here, I'm shifting to my right. I'm gonna put tension on this band so that it's trying to shift me right. Okay, so it's trying to exaggerate my problem. So I'm getting a good amount of tension, it's just around my hip bones here. And then I'm gonna go through a series of air squats. All right, so I'm gonna go down, the band's trying to put me right. I might actually go a little bit left, that's okay at this point. Just want you to go through some air squats, really trying to stay away from falling to that right side, because it's really trying to pull me. And I like to hang out there anyway. Good, air squats. Go through about 10 of those, nice and slow. Make sure that tension is good enough for you. And then you're gonna come out of the band. All right. Then you're gonna get some more air squats. Here, and let's, we'll see if you fix your shifting. So if now you're taking the band off, you're used to having to shift a little bit left, you're going to be in the middle here, okay? This might be easiest if you film yourself or have a buddy to tell you, yes, it worked, no, it didn't, to figure out if the neuromuscular control piece is what you're missing. So go ahead and give that a try. 